Good evening and welcome to the news of Ashuruq TV. Today's stories include Friends of Sudan discuss preparations for donor conference on Thursday. The Under Secretary of Information expects the extension of the curfew in Khartoum. Al Mahdi defends freezing their activity and he considers the decision not emotional. The Prime Minister, Dr. Abdullah Hamdok, and the French Foreign Minister, Jane Ledrain, held a meeting by phone in preparation for the Friends of Sudan conference due to be held via media in the in the Paris next Thursday. Hamdok discussed with the French Minister that the continuous and sustainable support to face the corona pandemic and the efforts of the world's countries in putting an end to the pandemic. The first Under Secretary of Minister of Culture and Information, Al Rashid Saeed Yaqub, expected the extension of the curfew in Khartoum for a longer period will be announced soon. He added on the media platform of the coronavirus pandemic that the issue of extending or lifting uh, the period will be studied by the authorities in the Ministry of Health and the decision will be announced before the deadline for the current ban on the 9th of May. The head of the National Ummah Party, Imam al-Sadiq al-Mahdi, said that freezing of his activities in all structures of the forces of freedom and change is not an emotional one, and he does not seek partisan interest, but rather dictates an objective diagnosis for the country's condition and the opportunity it has provided by the deterioration of the conditions for the apostates' forces and whom they stand behind and seek to cause harm. He said in a press statement to colleagues in, the, in all local and uh, we appreciate what we have achieved together for the benefit of the nation and which has led to the success of the people's revolution. And the door was opened for the entrance of a new historical stage that eliminates the dark legacy and mobilizes and energizes to the building of the homeland and democracy, peace, development, and justice. Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok made a phone call to the, can to the Canadian counterpart, Justin Trudeau, during which they discussed the relations between the two countries and ways to enhance and develop them further. The two sides have tackled the, the Canadian government's support to Sudan in many fields, especially in the international financial situation. Meanwhile, the Canadian side affirms its support for Sudan to combat the coronavirus pandemic. The Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, also asserted, asserted his country's support to Sudan and in international forums, especially in the transitional period, and reiterated his country's support to to remove Sudan from the American list of state sponsors of terrorism. The Minister of Religious Affairs and Endowment, Nasruddin Mufarrah Ahmed, has expressed his thanks to Mr. Tony Perkins, the Chairman of the United States Committee for International Religious Freedom, for his command over the states of religious freedom in Sudan, and his appreciation for the efforts of the leadership of the transitional period. Mufarrah posted on his Facebook account that these successes are an outcome of the sacrifices of the sons of the nation for the value of the revolution, without discrimination between color, dialect, or religion. The joint mechanism recently approved by the Sovereign and Ministry Council and the forces of the Declaration of Freedom and Change for the follow-up of the completion of the matrix during the next stage issued in a press meeting number three, in which he re it reviewed of the completion of the matrix until today. The joint triple mechanism clarified in the press conference number three that it is in the continuous session to follow up on its work and that the specialized committee have started their work to meet the times and obligations approved in the matrix. And the preparation of the additional report list what has been accomplished from the items and what its presentation as a triple meeting to be held today, Tuesday, through the video conference technology. 
because of the health conditions that the country is going through. The Sudanese Revolutionary Front, the SRF, said that they are willing to accept the appointment of the civilian state government and the proposed to involve them in the mechanism for their own selection. The SRF functions further proposed to appoint a temporary civilian governor under certain conditions in response to the popular demand, as provided in the letter seen by Sudan Tribune the SRF also said that they want to review the imp implementation of the matrix in the transitional program recently struck by the sovereign government and the FFC. The Director General of Al Jazeera State Minister of Ministry of Health, Dr. Ihab Abdullah Al Tom, a de delegation from the World Health Organization and UNICEF discussed precautionary measures set by the Ministry of Health in the state to address the coronavirus pandemic. The meeting has asserted that the commitment of the WHO and UNICEF to provide all the benefits of the medical personnel working in the isolation centers and to provide them with personal protection materials. The meeting also discussed the provision of a financial support to the community investigation team in 395 villages in the state to fully play a role in the early detection of the coronavirus infections amongst the citizens. In Khartoum state, the group of defense industry and the civil defense administration launched a campaign to sterilize more than 1,500 institutions. The deputy director of the general of defense industries Group General Mahtatim Abdullah al Hajj indicated that the campaign will not stop until the eradication of the pandemic, appealing to all youth and institutions to partake in the campaign under the motto, He who revives it is as the reviving of the people. General Mahtatim pointed during his live address from the Ministry of Health platform to the preparation of the Soba Center for Isolation indicated the campaign is, to, is targeting the sterilization of the markets, facilities, and areas where there are many infection cases. Reminding Headlines Friends of Sudan to discuss preparations for donor conference on Thursday. The Under Secretary of Information expects the extension of the curfew in Khartoum. Al Mahdi defense freezing their activities and he considers the decision not an emotional one. That was it from Al Shuruq TV. See you next time.